Oh, I still got it. If you're looking for an electric hoverboard for the little ones, this GoTrax Pulse Max might be right up your alley. It's made for ages 8 plus and weights between 44 and 176 pounds. Based on that weight limit, you can obviously see that not everybody can use this and this is more for the younger crowd. Now although this does have a pretty low weight limit, it does feature a 93.6 watt hour battery that's going to get you up to 7 miles of range at up to 6.2 miles per hour of speed and it also does have a built in Bluetooth speaker so you can jam out while you're riding around. This hoverboard does does come in three different colors including black, blue, and pink and even features some nice LED lights so you can ride around in style while you're bumping your favorite music. Inside the box we have a user manual, a one piece charging cable and brick, as well as the hoverboard itself that has some good solid weight to Oh wow, okay, remember I said this had LED lights? Look at this. We have transparent tires that are gonna light up as you ride around, that's very cool. Now speaking of these transparent tires, other than having a nice translucent design that's gonna allow the LEDs to shine, they are six and a half inch luminous wheels that are powered by dual 250 watt motors so you can pick up that six miles per hour speed. They do feel like they have some good grip so you'll be able to have good traction as you're riding around. We also do have the Bluetooth speaker grill right here so you can of course jam out to your favorite tunes. Now like I was saying, this does come in three different colors. Right here we happen to have the the pink model and it does look very vibrant along with these black foot pedals so you can go forward back and side to side. We do have some nice rose gold accents on both sides of the wheels. Coming over here to the back we do have a power button along with a waterproof flap here that you can pop open to access the charging port. Over here on the front on both sides we also do have some LED lights that light up as you are moving. We have some GoTrax branding over here on the front as well and really not too much to see overall. A very simple design. Let's get this thing powered on real quick see if we have any juice there we go the speaker actually has some good volume to it and wow instantly we are balanced everything's working very well but the main star here take a look at these LED lights on these tires that is very cool look at that Wow, it has all the different colors. We have blue, white, pink, and green. It even goes as far as lighting up the sides right here. That's a very nice touch. Now as you can see up here on the top, we do have a battery indicator right here that lets you know if you need to charge up. And also, once you lose balance, you can see it's flashing a red light right here, which means something's going wrong and you should definitely get off. But once you come back down and get things settled, it starts balancing once again, just like that. Now obviously there's not much I can do here trying to ride this around on a table, but everything does look good so far. But we're gonna head outside and put this thing to the real test and see how well it rides in the real world. Now I know this is more for the younger crowd, but you know I'm a sucker for hoverboards, so I had to put it to the test first. It does have some solid weight to it, but it's not too heavy that you can't carry it around when you need to. But, you know, it's time got to put it to the test. So, get this thing placed on the ground, get it powered on. All right, balanced, balanced, everything's balanced. Now, I haven't rode one of these in a while, so let's see if I can do this without, you know, making a fool of myself. All right, I'm on it. It's been a while, but I can definitely still do it. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. You more or less know how to do it, even if it's been a while. Now, the thing is about this hoverboard, the weight limit is 175 pounds, and I'm right underneath of that. So this is more of a stress test, just to see if it can actually support the maximum weight. As you can see, I'm moving it around very easily, smoothly. Now, this is a pretty bumpy road. We are in a bit of a construction zone, so things aren't the most ideal, but it's still working perfectly fine as expected. As you can see, I can turn. Now, I used to be way better at this, but it's definitely been a while, so I'm a little bit shaky on here. But you know, once you get the hang of it, look at that, I'm doing it. Feel the wind, very nice day, got some sunlight, but also a nice wind chill, so it's not too hot. It's pretty much perfect temperature right now to be outside, and this is fun, look at this. So once you go, you know, you stop on it, step off, it stays balanced, it's not gonna fall over. Just hop back on and get going. Obviously, once you become a professional at this, it's a lot more smooth. But as you can see, from when I first got on, and I was a little bit hesitant, look at this. Professional status now. And like I said, I'm right underneath the 175 pound weight limit and it's supporting me just fine. So, you know that weight limit is definitely gonna be accurate if you are more on the heavy side like I am. Let's get back on here, Woo! Look at this. Even though I'm pushing the weight limit, it's moving very fast. Now, I'm not moving as fast as I could because, you know, I'm still a little bit scared, but still great. Very smooth, 
very easy to ride once you figure it out. Just gotta keep your balance, find your balance, and you're good to go. I guess, boom, let's go. Let me just turn around. Yeah, do a little 360. Wow, and I'll come right back to you. But one of the cool things that you can't see because this is during the day is the lights. So if we could just turn the lights because this is when it really shines, quite literally, because these lights are so bright, so dazzling, just illuminating our path. I mean, the entire tire being translucent is showing all the different colors just coming right through. This just looks like a big rave party. It's very awesome. You're gonna have a really fun time riding around, having a blast playing your music and riding around with all these bright lights. Now, can we get the sun back, please? And just like that, we're back out here in the sunlight. As far as the built-in Bluetooth speaker goes, it's loud enough so you can hear yourself as you're riding around unless you're in a really noisy environment, but it's not actually that loud, so just keep that in mind if you're kind of to be blasting this thing for a whole party or something. But it looks very good, it feels very good, it's very solid and works very well. But let's put somebody a little bit lighter than me on here to put it to the real test. Hi guys! So today I'm going to be giving you guys a little quick view of the hoverboard I have right here. As you can see it's pink which is obviously my color. Obviously. So I'm going to ride it and uh, tell you guys what I think. I've had a lot of hoverboards so I'm experienced but uh, yeah I'm kind of nervous because I haven't ridden in a while so uh, here we go. All right, Let's see if I still remember how to, yep, I can turn, <laughs> all right. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's very smooth so far, which I really like. It can play music and it has a Bluetooth, which um, as a K-pop stan, obviously I'm gonna be going down the road blasting BTS because you know, that's what I do. But yeah, it feels really nice. Go a little faster without, you know, falling. And let's see here. Pretty smooth. I actually really quite like this one because it feels really smooth. Like sometimes when I get hoverboards, sometimes they don't feel as like smooth as this one feels. So. I quite like that. Let me see if I still remember how to do tricks. I remember I could like do this and I could still do it. Oh yeah. Oh, I still got it. I still got it. Oh my God. I still got it. Oh my God. I still got it for sure. I actually quite like it, so I think I'm going to give this one a solid 10 because I really like how smooth it is and the balance is pretty good. I don't, I don't feel like it's leaning too much in any direction, which is good because sometimes they tend to like lean, but yeah, I like it. I cannot wait to use the Bluetooth, like that's literally all I'm thinking about. So. Uh, if you hear somebody zooming down your street with uh, dynamite, yeah, it's me. <laughs> so yeah, I like it. Highly recommend. Okay.